achieve a perfect balance of chewy pastry that has a crumbly, flaky texture, butter or fat is added to the flour and water mixture. The fats in butter are triglycerides, esters made up of glycerol and fatty acid chains. The fatty acid chains are hydrophobic. This means they don't mix with water. Because of this, as the butter coats flour particles in the pastry dough, it prevents them from absorbing excessive water. This then disrupts the bonding that can occur between the proteins in the flour and stops the network of gluten from fully forming, reducing the elastic nature of the pastry and making it more flaky and crumbly. During baking, the high temperatures used also cause the fats to melt and break apart in hydrolysis reactions, releasing free fatty acids that help give the pastry its buttery flavour. The exact melting point of the fat used is really important to get the desired texture. Ideally, the fat used is a solid at room temperature with a higher melting point than butter. Such specific fats designed for this process in baking are referred to as shortening. They are called shortening as you are effectively shortening the strands of gluten being formed in pastry by adding them to the dough, making the pastry less doughy and elastic and more flaky and crumbly.